<laughs> it's so much fun, but I seriously cannot hit any of these targets unless I use slow mo, which is no fun. Oh man! So Switchback is coming out on PSVR 2 very soon. I'm very excited for that. This is not that game, but this is the most similar thing I can probably play right now to that game. This is Epic Roller Coasters uh, on the Oculus platform. It's also on Steam, but this has native Y'all 2 motion support which is something that I'm really, really hoping for in Switchback. If that game could get Y'all 2 motion support, it would be fantastic. So as you can see, this whole unit moves you know, with the game. In this part of the game, it's not real crazy. Uh, it gets a little bit crazier later on, and this thing gets moving around so much that it's really hard to even aim and hit these targets. But if Supermassive Games or somebody in that arena can get some Y'all 2 support for that game, that would be so awesome. Uh, I know it works with the PSVR 2, I mean with PS5, because I've played Gran Turismo 7 uh, with the y'all. You've probably seen some video of me doing that. So I know it's possible. These guys here, when I shoot them, I lose 10 points, and I don't know why. I feel like I should shoot, be able to shoot these guys. Like, who's this creepy guy up there? Why can't I shoot you? I want to be able to shoot the bad guys. But obviously, I don't think this really compares to Switchback. You know, it's not the same budget level game. It's not the same kind of... Uh, you know, just the same level of even game, but this is the closest thing I can do right now. And it gets a little bit creepy. It's got some little jump scares and stuff in it. It's actually a really, really fun game, especially if you have a motion platform like this. Uh, just some of the regular roller coasters are so fast and move around so much. Oh, jeez. That it is so much fun to me, y'all, too. It starts out pretty plain, pretty basic. You know, we're in this nice. Super nice elevator, we got elevator music. I still have my wheel and stuff mounted to the rig, so sometimes that gets in the way when I'm shooting stuff. But uh, one of the cool things about this game is that it even works with just the Quest. So you don't even need a PC. Right now I'm playing the Oculus PC build, but you can play this game native on Quest with the All 2 support. You don't even need a PC, which is pretty crazy. I wish so many more games would just add that telemetry support in there to be able to use this thing with more stuff, but it's pretty awesome. Hey, buddy. How you doing? This guy right here is beastly. Negative 10. I don't know why I'm not supposed to shoot him. I want to shoot those guys. I want to fight them. Not really, though. That dude looks super scary. He looks like he would eat me alive. He disappeared. Where'd he go? Nice little roller coaster right here. Oh my goodness, that dude is freaky looking. Ah! Ah! Oh boy, now we're moving. These are the parts where it gets really hard to hit these targets. You can hit a slow motion button like that to slow it down, but why would you want to do that? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so much fun, but I seriously cannot hit any of these targets unless I use slow mo, which is no fun. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. I probably should have put the harness on. <laughs> so hard to hit these Tell me though, if you're excited for Switchback, how awesome that game would be in the all two. Oh! Uh. Man, I really get your heart pumping. <laughs> it's so much fun though. Uh, this map is actually, I think it would be way better if it was actually a little bit quicker through all these areas. The fast area is a lot of fun, but the slow areas are a little bit too slow and not enough movement involved, but it's still pretty cool. And for some reason on the quest build, like if you're playing just the quest build and not the PC build, every time I shoot the shotgun, the seat like rocks a little bit. Like you feel uh, feedback from the shotgun. On the PC build, for some reason, it's not doing that. I'm not sure why not, but... But it feels even actually better in the quest build than the PC build. All right, let's speed this thing up. I need like a boost button or something. Uh -oh. Something is not happy in there. What we got over here? Definitely kind of a lower budget game, but it's still a lot of fun. This would seriously be probably one of the best things to put somebody in, especially if somebody that's never played VR before or never played horror. Because like, as far as horror goes, this game, you know, this little experience isn't that scary. But for somebody that's never experienced it, it would probably be pretty scary, especially if you put them in the yard too. No, oh, that's creepy. That's super creepy. Oh, you can't hit him though. 
it'd be so much better if you actually had to move these like away from your face, which is something that I'm sure Switchback will do a lot better than this, but this is definitely not the highest budget game. But I'm mentally preparing myself to switch back by playing that. Playing this. Oh, hey buddy. It's the guy from the Goonies. Got some creepy sounds and stuff, you know. I could have made it a little bit scarier, but. The shotgun angles are definitely not the best. I wish I could adjust those, because like I have to like really tilt my hands out, but that's okay. Whacked her. It's not nice, man. It's not nice. Stay there, though. Don't come after me. Don't come after me, please. Uh, uh. Oh, man. Uh. It's so hard to hit these things when you're moving this fast. And the gun doesn't shoot that fast either, so there's like a delay between shots. Uh, trying to get as many as I can. We're not going for high scores here. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna shoot me out of the barn. Anyways, it's a horrible score, but it is a lot of fun in this thing, and I'm definitely looking forward to switch back. I probably said switch back way too many times during this video, but I am super excited. Anyways, we will see you in PSVR 2 very soon.